Hi, everyone. My name is Ronald Denise, and I'm the virtual content specialist for seventh grade social studies. In this teacher facing video, I will go over strategies for teaching unit two, day 20, George vs. George, including the portrait detectives graphic organizer. This lesson is adapted from grade seven, unit two, lesson 15, found on page 197 of the Passport to Social Studies curriculum guide. The objective for this lesson is students will compare two portraits of George Washington and make inferences about how perception of his role in the American narrative changed over time. Show students the portrait of George Washington by Charles Wilson Peale on this slide. Ask them to stand and strike the same pose as young George Washington. We'll ask students, what does it feel like to assume this pose? What do you think it feels like to wear this kind of clothing and be in a setting like this? We'll then show students the portrait of George Washington by Gilbert Stewart on this slide. Explain that this portrait was painted 20 years after the last one they looked at. Ask them again to stand and strike the same pose as George Washington. Follow up by asking, how does it feel to pose like this? Does this pose feel different from the other? Why? Explain to students that art, especially portraiture, often reveals a narrative about a person portrayed. Over the years, as many images were painted of George Washington, each of these paintings says something different about him or represents the American narrative at the time. Have students reflect on the following question. What visual clues or evidence inferred from the paintings reveals how Americans perceive George Washington's role? Next, we'll show students King George III in coronation robes on this slide and use the image to explain the important portraiture vocabulary listed on the slide that follows. So first, we can introduce students to this vocabulary. Portrait, a painting, photograph, drawing, or engraving of a person. Sitter, the person who is painted. Pose, the position of the sitter's body. Symbol, an image that represents a larger idea. Attributes, a quality or characteristic of a person, a personality trait, an object that functions as a symbol or special mark of a person in art. Now we can go back to this slide and point out how the portrait of King George III illustrates the terms we just went over the class. Sitter, this portrait features the King of England, King George III, at his coronation. This was George Washington's rival in Great Britain. Pose, you might ask students to stand up and adopt the pose of King George III. How does this pose make you feel? Have students turn and talk and call on a few to share. Facial expression, you can ask students to describe the expression on his face. Symbol, do you see any symbols in this painting? You can ask students. The crown in the back right hand side is a symbol of majesty and legitimate power. Attributes, you can ask students, what are some of the sitter's attributes and why? Encourage students to cite evidence from the portrait that help them make their inferences. After a few respond, you can share with students that his crown and robes are attributes of monarchy and his power. Discuss how King George III's appearance in the portrait reflects how he wanted people to see and remember him. Ask students to describe his appearance and chart their answers. Possible responses include majestic, regal, rich, powerful, youthful, and handsome. The word bank on this slide can be provided to help students select more sophisticated and precise words. For the main learning activity, we'll ask students to once again view two portraits of George Washington. This time, they're going to be portrait detectives by gathering evidence from the paintings to learn more about George Washington. The portrait detectives graphic organizer includes the following prompts and questions to guide students thinking. Describe this person's pose. Describe this person's facial expression. What do you notice about the setting? What attributes does this person have? Describe this person's clothing. Create a new title for this painting. Students can record their responses directly on the slide. You can print out the portrait detectives graphic organizer found in the student workbook for students, or they can recreate this graphic organizer in their social studies notebook or on a piece of paper. Finally, we will wrap up the lesson by facilitating a discussion using any of the following questions. How are the objects and details in the two portraits different? How do the two portraits portray Washington differently? What accounts for those differences? What evidence can you find in the painting to support your thinking?
Who do you think had control over decisions in the composition of these portraits, the sitter, the artist, and or the individual who commissioned the painting? How does the rainbow or the British evacuation of Boston in the background of the Peel painting impart the message of the painting? We'll check for understanding by having students respond to the following questions. How do the two portraits represent different points of view about Washington? What role does a portrait play in the creation of the historical narrative of a nation? How do portraits of national figures play a role in shaping the country's memory of the person? Explain your thinking with evidence. That concludes the video on Unit 2, Day 20, George vs. George, Reading Portraits. I hope you found this video helpful. Feel free to try this lesson or any of the strategies discussed in this video with your students.